Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel Premiere Next. In this video you are going to get all the information related to the latest story updates of the series called Lover Stalker Killer Watchers of True Crime Documentaries and Committed Partnerships might find solace in the fact that they are no longer in the dating pool after watching Lover, Stalker, Killer, a shocking portrayal of the graphic sequence of crimes directed by Sam Hopkinson. It starts in 2012 with Omaha Auto Technician Dave Krupa, who was getting over a breakup. At 35, he's unmarried and eager to socialize. He meets Liz Goliar on a dating app. According to archive footage, she adores bowling and gives the finger to cameras. Thinking that their relationship is not exclusive, he subsequently hooks up with Carrie Farver. Farver begins to panic shortly after they start dating. Dave receives a barrage of offensive texts and emails. Profanity and threats fill the screen, and digital malfunctions dominate the audio. Goliar's home burns down as the violence quickly leaves the virtual world. Farver has not yet been seen as the long list of harassment continues. If all the variables had been known at the time, Ocam's razor might have been used to solve this puzzle. Nevertheless, there are certain turns that would have surprised even the most astute armchair detectives. By having the real-life participants narrate the events as though some details weren't already known at the time of the interviews, the filmmakers engage in some ledger domain. There is produced video in the film as well, which includes somewhat corny Midwest police enforcement worldbuilding, while passing the time in a pool hall, two detectives who assist in breaking the case are introduced. These are now standard procedures, so there's not much use in grumbling especially when the outcome is produced quickly, in under 90 minutes. What was Dave Krupa and Liz Goliar's relationship? In 2012, Krupa and Goliar connected via an internet dating service. They were in frequent contact, but Krupa informed Goliar he wasn't interested in getting married. Goliar seemed content with it. After a short while, Krupa went to his auto shop and met Farver, who lived in Macedonia, Iowa, an hour away. He later asked her out. The two had ended up in Krupa's flat on one of their first dates. Farver had passed a woman in the corridor as she was leaving. Goliar was the one who said she had stopped by Krupa's flat to retrieve a couple of her belongings. Their lives will never be the same after this accidental meeting. WHO was stalking Dave Krupa? Farver and Krupa continued to see one another for the next two weeks. On November 12, 2012, Krupa and Farver had a sleepover. He later reported to the authorities that he kissed her goodbye and left for work in the morning. By all accounts, that was the last time anyone saw Farver. Despite appearing to vanish from sight, she kept in touch with Krupa, accusing him of ruining her life and ex-girlfriend of receiving thousands of threatening texts from her. Goliar said at the time that Farver had sent her identical texts cautioning her to leave Krupa alone. Nancy Rainey, Farver's mother, also got messages. Her daughter said she had moved to Kansas in order to take a new job and would be in touch to talk about picking up her son Max, who was 14 years old. Rainey called the police because she thought something wasn't right. According to ABC News, Farver missed a number of family occasions over the course of several weeks, including her son's 15th birthday, Thanksgiving, and her father's funeral. Where is Liz Goliar now? Authorities discovered that Goliar's phone held logins for numerous fictitious email accounts in addition to a picture of Farver's vehicle, which marked a significant turning point in the investigation. In due course, they also managed to obtain access to a tablet that held an ancient Goliar memory card with thousands of pictures on it, including one of Farver's lifeless corpse. Goliar was accused with killing Carrie Farver in the first degree on December 22, 2016. She was given a life sentence after being proven guilty. On February 9, Lover Stalker Killer will debut on Netflix. If you are watching this video on YouTube, please click on the like button and subscribe to the channel for the latest updates related to upcoming movies and series. Re